everybody and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. I'm Allison Cope and today we're going to be making a light up Hanukkah card featuring our new animating LED lights. Let's get started. We're going to start off by stamping our image from Love and Light, uh, the stamp set from Catherine Pooler Designs. I've stamped it on the outside, colored it up, and I've also stamped it on the inside. This is going to help plan out our circuit today. We're going to start by creating a area for our battery. I'm just doing a quick circle and that will be where our switch is. We're going to be using some of our new white blink animating LED light stickers along with our regular white LED lights. We're going to start today's circuit by mapping out where all five of our light stickers will be located. We're going to use our very crafty craft stencil today and we're going to literally chase, sorry, trace our shape right onto that image. Having that image stamped makes this process a lot easier because you'll know exactly where you want those lights to be. We're going to use two of our animating white blink stickers and three of our regular white LED stickers today. Just finish up those locations and then we'll be on to complete our circuit. And we're also going to indicate where the lights are because once we put our tape over top, you won't necessarily see where those lights are going to be located. Now that we've mapped out our stickers, we are going to map out our circuit. I tend to start on the negative side of the circuit. So I want to connect all of those points on the triangles because they are the negative side of our stickers. We're going to transfer that right down to our battery. We want this line of product to run underneath that battery. We're going to continue this line to capture the point of our final fifth sticker at the top there. And there we go. Let's map out the positive or the red side of our circuit. It needs to pass over all of the fatter parts of our triangles. So I put all five stickers in this orientation so that I could easily make one line of conductive fabric tape. To close off the switch, our fabric tape needs to go over top of our battery and touch the positive side. And we're going to take it out and connect it up to the positive line that goes across our stickers. And there we go. That's our complete circuit. Now we're going to add the conductive fabric tape to the negative side of our circuit. I always start my conductive fabric tape underneath the battery. So we're going to lay it right flat on our cardstock. We're going to run it right up and it needs to touch all of the pointy parts of our stickers. So I'm just following my blue line here. The conductive fabric tape is very flexible and by peeling the backing off, you've got instant sticker. So I just fold it back on itself to create a 90 degree angle or whatever angle I need and trim it off at the end point with a pair of scissors and there we go negative side of our circuit is complete. Now we need to create a little housing to hold our battery. This enables us so that the battery stays in one position. I'm using some thin fabric foam strips and I'm placing my battery in there and then just creating four little walls to hold it in place. I use the battery just in case uh, to ensure that my uh, housing isn't too big or too small and it holds it nice and tight. There's our third little part of our housing and a fourth piece to close it off. And now we need to complete the switch aspect. Oh. 
Before we do that, I'm just going to outline all of the insides of our cards with the same dimensional 3D foam. Okay, now we need to complete our switch. I've got a little flap of just regular copy paper. We're gonna take that conductive fabric tape and we're gonna literally wrap it around that paper. So go from one side of the paper to the other because this conductive fabric tape needs to touch the top of the battery to complete the circuit. It's going to act as our switch. So I'm just gonna remove some backing paper off of our one piece of foam. And then we're going to push that conductive fabric tape all the way down that red positive line. And you can use your fingers or a bone folder. Uh, this conductive fabric tape is very bendy. And we're gonna lastly take it up and across all the fat parts of our triangle sticker. And basically it's a trim and our circuit is complete. Let's add our awesome stickers. This is our new gem shaped white blink animating stickers. And we're gonna use two. We're gonna use one in the fifth position, which I've just applied. And before I do that, I'm gonna lay down four, three, two, one. So these are our regular white LED stickers and they can be overlapped. As long as they're overlapped, positive to positive, and negative, negative to negative, they will work. And here goes our second animating LED sticker, our white blink. <laughs> Just need to peel it off here. And it's going to go in position number two, and it can overlap those white LED light stickers, and it works perfectly. There's light number, the second last light, and then we have one more white sticker to add. And there we go. All five stickers are applied, and give it a whirl. There we go. And here's our final card with our white LED light stickers and our two white blink animating LED stickers. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.